Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three strong buy stocks to buy and hold forever. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three stocks that investors might want to buy and hold forever. Now, obviously this is a much more passive long-term investment strategy. So we're taking a look at companies that have long-term track records and profitability, a proven business model, and some great growth potential for the future. All of our companies today come in with strong buy consensus from Wall Street. So we're gonna take a look at these stocks, what it is that they do, and of course, what those analysts are predicting for the stock's future. Just before we get into today's stock picks, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. You can follow along over on the Tip Ranks website or also on the Tip Ranks mobile app. Links to download are in the description down below. Now let's get right into our three strong buy, buy and hold forever stocks. First on our list today is the company that's everywhere you want to be. That is Visa. They trade under the ticker V, currently priced at $268 per share. In the past year, the stock has climbed 10.8%, but in the last while has been cooling off down over 5% in the last six months. Visa, of course, is one of the better known names in the digital payment world. They were founded back in 1958, the year that Bank of America launched the first consumer credit card program in the US. They expanded internationally in 1974 and now process payments around 200 countries and territories in the world, with products and services available on cards, laptops, tablets, mobile devices, and more. They are at the forefront of transforming transactions and unlocking opportunities with the digital payments and wallets. The stock did dip a bit following their last quarterly report near the end of July, as Visa came out with some mixed results, having a beat on earnings but a slight miss on revenue. For their third quarter, they reported earnings per share of $2.42, which was in line with analysts' expectations and grew about 12% year-over-year. Revenue came in at $8.9 billion, missing estimates by $200 million, but did increase about 10% year-over-year. Growth in total payment volume, cross-border volume, and process transactions slowed a bit from the pace clocked in their Q2, but remained relatively stable. Of course, we heard from several Wall Street analysts following that Q3 earnings report, including one four-star analyst at TD Cohen who reiterated their buy. The analysts said that third quarter results were in line with expectations and they see no major alterations in Visa's overall narrative. Their value-added services and new flows have shown strong growth, with Visa Direct in particular displaying impressive year-over-year -year gains. These elements contribute to a positive shift in Visa's business mix, reinforcing the optimism in the stock's future performance. Overall, the Visa stock comes in as a strong buy with 21 current analyst ratings, breaking down to 17 buys and 4 holds. The average price target comes in at $315 for an upside potential of over 17%. Looking at our most recent analysts, we have some both increasing and decreasing their price target. This Redburn Atlantic hold is actually our low end price target with an upside of 4%. Many price targets in those high teens, while our high end price target is at $345 for an upside of 28.5%. Second on our list today is Canadian firm Brookfield Corporation. Trading under the ticker BN, they're currently priced at about $49 per share, having climbed 51% over the past year and gaining 21% in the last six months. Brookfield Corporation is a diversified global investment management firm. They're focused on building long-term wealth for institutions and individuals around the world through their three core businesses, alternative asset management, wealth solutions, and their operating businesses, with those operating businesses in infrastructure, renewable power, industrial and business services, and real estate being among some of the world's largest and most successful. They have over $925 billion of assets under management, investing on behalf of public and private pension plans, endowments, foundations, financial institutions, and insurance companies. They shared their Q2 earnings report just a few weeks ago on August 8th, where they came out with a pretty notable earnings beat. For their second quarter, they reported earnings per share of $1.37, coming in well ahead of analysts' expectations, and net revenues came in at $23.05 billion, which did slightly decrease year over year. The company saw their cash and liquid assets increase to $62 billion and completed $800 million of share buybacks to date in 2024. The company also recently made headlines as Bill Axman's hedge fund, Pershing Square, recently started a sizable new position. Overall, in the last quarter, hedge funds increased their holding in the BN stock by 7.3 million shares, but most notably, Pershing Square Capital Management started a position at $284 million. 
Following that Q2 earnings report, we did have a couple of analysts at both Scotiabank and CIBC increase their price targets on the stock. The CIBC analyst noted the company's strong operating results and said that their buybacks could very well exceed $1 billion over the full year. The analyst at Scotiabank said that the recent share price pressure on the stock has created a better entry point ahead of the expected central bank easing in the coming months. And while the stock continues to appeal to value investors, they believe the company can increase interest from growth investors with their recently communicated strategy, which should narrow the net asset value trading discount. The stock does just have five current analyst ratings, coming in as a strong buy with four buys and one hold. The average price target of $52.65 would imply an upside potential of about 6%. Looking at our ratings here down below, on the low end, we do have a hold rating here with a downside of over 7%, while our high-end price target is a buy from CIBC with an upside of over 15%. If you've made it to our third stock today, this is a friendly reminder to make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Last but not least on the list is Amazon. They trade under the ticker AMZN, currently priced at $172, having grown about 30% over the past year. In the last six months, they're down ever so slightly. Of course, Amazon is an online marketplace behemoth that is also seeing growth in their cloud services and advertising. Amazon got its start back in the 90s as an online bookstore, but now shoppers can find almost anything they want on the world's largest online retailer. Last year, across their domains, they had total worldwide gross merchandise value of $700 billion. Of course, the company offers a vast array of other online services as well, from online TV streaming and cloud computing, as well as audiobooks, home automation, and even groceries. The Amazon stock has pulled back recently following their Q2 earnings report on August 1st after the company did post an earnings beat, but revenue did fall a bit short and there was some softer than expected guidance. Their Q2 earnings per share came in at $1.26, beating expectations by $0.23 cents per share. On the revenue side, it came in at $148 billion. Now, that did grow 10%, but did fall $760 million short of estimates. On the positive side, their AWS segment sales increased 19% year-over-year. There is no shortage of analyst ratings on the Amazon stock, and recently we did hear from a five-star analyst at Loop Capital. The analyst commented on recent news of social media integration, saying that their upcoming integrations with TikTok and Pinterest, enabling users to shop directly from Amazon within these apps, are expected to significantly boost Amazon's advertising conversion rates. He maintains a buy rating on the stock, underpinned by the belief that these strategic moves will yield substantial financial benefits for the company. And with 43 current analyst ratings, the Amazon stock nearly comes in as a unanimous strong buy with just one hold. And the average price target of $222 would imply an upside potential of over 28.5%. And looking at all those recent ratings down below, essentially all in the double-digit upside range here um, from about 15% to 35% all here, our low-end price target is the one hold rating here with an upside of 7.5%, while our high-end price target is about $251, if we can find it here, an upside of 45%. So that is a quick look at three potential buy and hold forever stocks, all coming in with a strong buy consensus from Wall Street. Let me know your thoughts on these companies and which stocks in your portfolio you're going to hang on to forever. I always love hearing from you guys. Keep in mind, these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so make sure you always stick with your own investing plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back here next time.